Of all the sounds in golf's blue note jazzy riff, one matters most. Like Miles's flow, Joplin's fury, Kendrick's truth, Tico's thunder, the strike of the golf ball. It is music. It's a different kind of music. Listening and reacting. The sound can give you confidence, and when you're not hitting it as well, I feel sometimes like it's almost slappy is what I call it, like I'm kind of slapping at the ball, I'm not really hitting it. When I'm getting that good thud, that's, that's a lot of confidence for me. I use the sound a lot. I kind of relate it to feel. Anybody that knows golf, they can have their eyes closed and they can kind of tell you like that was thin, high on the face, toe, flush, chunked. Pretty much know from the instant that the club hits the ball how that shot's going to be. Sound is, it is very, very important. The best sounds are the deep sounds. Nothing high pitch about it. You know, that sound of the club compressing the ball and also taking a little turf has a bit of depth to it. The drive on the kit is. I'll take Rory or myself. It's hard to go past Rory. He compresses the ball. I mean, it's got speed. I gravitate towards the compressors of the golf ball. You center one, it's like a softer sound. It's an iron going through the air. The fizz of a golf ball when it's struck well going through the wind, like that. Max Homer has a nice fizz to it. I play Colin Morikawa. Tiger. It really is a different sound when it comes off. It's a very, very heavy hit. Tiger's irons make a nice, nice sound. When he's hitting it into the wind, he really thuds it. He controls his spin so well that the wind doesn't have as much of an effect on shots as it does for everybody else. Which game undoubtedly is Jordan Spieth. I use bunker practice as a really important aspect of impact and timing. Slapping the sand almost with, with the bounce creates a certain sound. If you do hit correct bunker shots, you should hear a pretty nice thump at the bottom. City to city, they bang the drum. Day after day, the sounds and the silence filling their souls illuminating, sometimes haunting their dreams in hopes of playing the garden, the biggest stadiums, the Coliseum, so their music, their song, their anthem lifts the crowd off its feet, and then the player hears the most electrifying sound of all. When you make a big putt and the crowd kind of goes crazy. It's gonna be the loudest in here. So give me all your loving. The audience, once they're going, it takes you to another level, biggest high in the world. This rambling man been living on a prayer. That's a shot you'll remember 100 years from now. Poetic justice played again. And deeper into a tournament, into contention, there is one sound they need to hear. Everyone's favorite. The sound of the ball going in the hole. <laughs> that ball rattling. The rattle of the cup. Or in my case, hitting the pin. And when the noise dies, artists at heart, they go back to work on their craft, drawn to the pure strike, their quiet place. Enjoy the silence. All the small things. Nothing else matters. Tinkering, feeling, listening.